Welcome to our tutorial about editing the title block. Let's start by creating a new drawing document. Landscape B. Okay, let's zoom in on the title block. Now let's right click and select Edit Sheet Format. I'm going to start with the company name. If I click here, I see an empty note. Now if I right click, actually, let me move the block a little bit higher so we can see it more easily. If I right click and select Edit Text in Window, we can see that the note is linked to the property Company Name. Let's cancel out of this. OK, let's go to File on the main menu, Properties, choose the Custom tab, and from the Property Name drop down window, let's select Company Name. The type we'll leave as text, and we'll enter a value here. Let's enter the company name, VTN, click OK. Now as you can see, the company name field is populated in our title block. By the way, if you see a bunch of error messages here, go to the View command and uncheck Annotation Link Errors. Here's what I'm talking about. There's a bunch of gobbledygook here. Let's go to View and uncheck Annotation Link Errors. OK, let's look at the Number of Sheets field. I'm going to grab this note and move it up so that I can see the number of sheets field a little better. OK, if I right click and select Edit Text in Window, we see that the note is linked to two properties. There's the current sheet, and the second property is the number of total sheets. Let's cancel out of this for now. Now let's insert a couple more sheets. As you see when I zoom in, that the sheet displays 3 of 3. So the info in our note did update. When I mouse over the sheet tabs, I see previews of those sheets. Let's right click and delete. Yes. And the info in our note is also updated. Incidentally, the second sheet also shows the company name, as well as the first sheet. Let's take a look at the scale note now. Right click on it and select Edit Text in Window. Oops, got the wrong note. Let's try that again. Right click on the scale note, edit text in window. Here we see that this note is linked to the sheet scale property. Let's cancel out for now. Now if I, okay, now if I right click and select properties, let's modify the scale. We'll change it, for example, uh, to two to one. Let's click OK. As you see, the scale changes here as well. Let's revert back to 1 to 1. Click OK. And the last note, Description. Let's right click on it, Edit Text and Window. As you can see, this field is linked to the Description property. Let's cancel out for now. And let's go open a part. B14 A. Oops, got the wrong part. All right, let's try that again. B14 A. Now when this part is opened, let's go to Properties. We'll choose Description from the Custom tab. Text. Let's enter a description. Our value will be My Part. Click OK. And back to our drawing document. I simply bring in something. Let's open the View Palette. There's nothing here right now. The first select Edit Sheet. And now the model is available. Let's drag out the front view and click OK. Now under the title note is our description, My Part. OK, let's edit the weight field next. We're going to go back to My Part. Now let's go to File, Properties. On the Custom tab, let's choose another property from the drop-down menu, Weight. It'll be Text. We'll enter Mass and click OK. Let's go back to our drawing document. As you can see, the weight is now displayed in our note. Right-click, Edit Sheet Format. And now I'm able to grab this note and drag it to its proper location. 
This concludes our tutorial about editing the title block.